Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at another one of my favorite menu bar applications, and that is PopClip. Now, PopClip is an application that adds some of the functionality that you might get on your iOS devices with little pop-up menus when you hover over text or other things. And PopClip adds that functionality to your Mac. And so it's $9.99, and it's a... Again, it's a really handy application. You've probably seen it come up many times in my screencasts when I have a little pop-up that comes up that looks similar to this down here. Uh, that's because I've been using this for a long time, and it's a really great application. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this down right now, and I'll show you up here in the menu bar. <clears throat> Pop Clip is this little application right here. If I just click on this, you can see that once you've installed it, there's just an on-off switch. And you want to go ahead and check Start It Login and Show in Menu Bar. Uh, those are the two uh, things, so that every time you start up your Mac, it will come up. And then you got a little quit here if you want to quit the application. Now if I come in here to Settings, I've got just a couple of settings. Size, so this is the size of the menu that pops up. I can increase it or decrease it. And then you can pick your language, and there's a whole bunch of languages in here as well. Now, if I come over here, I've got what's called extensions, and it comes with some base extensions and then some extra ones that I've added. And what's great is, as you can see, there are a bunch of different things it can do. And just to have these here, you can select or check or uncheck whether or not they're live or not. Uh, you can also edit just with the pencil here, and you can delete ones you don't want, or you can rearrange them if you want to rearrange them as well. You can see how it just moves them around, and I can reorder them. Uh, some applications, like DevonThink here, has a little gear icon here that has a couple of actions that are available. You can either clip to DevonThink or search in DevonThink. And so some of them have multiple actions available. And so you can choose one or you can choose both of them, and I've got both of them there. So that gives you an idea of how that works. And I'm going to show you how to add other ones in there and how all of this works as well. Now, the other thing I can do is I can exclude applications. So maybe there's some applications where I don't want uh, pop clips showing up. Uh, for instance, maybe I don't want it showing up in uh, Photoshop or one of those applications. I can just come in here and hit the plus button. It'll take me to my applications, and I can cho choose the one that I don't want it to work with. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel that because I don't have any I want to exclude. And then here we just have information about the application itself, and you can rate it on the App Store. So again, it's just made up of all of these different um, extensions and things, and you can add more just with this plus right here, but I'm going to show you how that works. So let me just uh, put this down here. I'm just going to undo this, and I'm going to pull up Safari here for a minute. And we're going to go over to the Pop Clip user guide because this gives you a really handy way to kind of see how the different uh, features work. So you've got cut, copy, and paste where you can highlight text. So if I just highlight this text, you'll notice that now all of a sudden the pop click menu comes up. And I can do a number of things with this text. I can do a search for uh, the web. I can copy the text to my clipboard so I can paste it anywhere I want. And then I can do other things like, uh, you know, set up a things uh, to do task, notes, uh, clip to DevonThink, search in DevonThink, Ulysses, copy as Markdown, Google Translate, Tweetbot. Those are some of the ones that I've got. Let me show you a couple other ones down here. Here I have search. So what I'm going to do is just uh, highlight Google Me right here, and I'm going to go to the search icon. And you notice what it does is it brings me to Google.me and brings me to that web page. So it's done a search in, in, of Google so that I can go ahead and search whatever I want there. Okay, so that's a real, uh, real easy way that it works. Down here I can also open a link. And so here I've got a link here for apple.com uh, slash Mac. And if I just hit the little link here, it will actually take me right to that web page inside of Safari. So again, another, uh, another just simple, easy way to use this application. Now, another thing I can do is I can use an address to compose an email. So if I wanted to just highlight this here and I hit the little at sign, it's going to take me right into mail and allow me to compose an email with that person's address. So uh, again, just uh, yeah, don't save, just a really nice feature feature set. I can also do things like if I've got uh, this right here, I highlight this, I can go ahead and look for this in the Finder, and I can reveal the actual location here in the Finder, and it took me right to the Documents folder just like I highlighted there. So again, just really neat stuff. Uh, the other thing I can do is quick access to the dictionary. So if I'm reading this word, boy, I don't know what that means. I can come over here to the dictionary, and you can see that it's context-aware. 
So this wasn't up wasn't available on one of the early ones I did. But if I just hit the dictionary, it'll load the dictionary and give me the definition of that particular word already searched and already ready to go. Now the other thing it'll do is it'll correct spelling. And so if you have spelling issues, it will give you options for how to spell the word properly uh, as you type. And so again, it's just uh, it just gives you some really neat things as it pops up. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to, uh, let's say, make a task out of this, I could highlight this, and I could hit Things, and I get the quick uh, Things entry here where I can set up uh, a task to look at this particular website. Go ahead and put that down. Let's do it again. So if I highlight this again, you can see I have other things. I could bring up uh, the Notes application uh, as well, you know, highlight a note, or I could even tweet this out in Tweetbot, and it'll launch that for me. So how do you add these different extensions, right, to make this work for you? Well, if you come over to their extensions area here, here are all the different pop clip extensions. And you can get at these extensions right in the menu bar item when you hit the extensions and hit the plus to add them. It'll take you to this web page. And so you can see here they've got a featured extension, which is highlight, where you highlight some text. You hit the little highlighter there and highlights it. But look at all of the different things that you can do here. And all you need to do is download them to install them. And you can see I've already, the ones with the check marks are the ones I've already installed. But you've got things like text transformation, where you can change the text and hyphenate and underscore. You can convert markdown to HTML or copy HTML as markdown, which is one of the ones that I've got. Uh, you've got your character count, word count for text statistics, text display. You can have larger type. You can do text to speech. They got all the different translations there. And then look at the notes applications Evernote, uh, you know, uh, you know, Jimbo, uh, Devon Think, Trello, all kinds of different things show up here. I uh, even got Scrivener and Ulysses, where you can make new clippings uh, right from the text that you select. And then you got all these to do apps and task managers, and, and most of the major ones are covered here, uh, which is really great. And then you can even do calendar applications with a fantastic cal and busy cal. And then look at all these other applications. You can do things with Maps, uh, Launch Bar, Alfred, Text Expander, uh, just a ton of different things. And even Busy Contacts, which I've covered earlier, where you can create a new contact uh, with selected text if you want to do that. Again, web searches, and you also have other searches that you can do. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes, I mean, just all kinds of stuff across here. And then you've got your social networking, music, and then link shortening, which is really convenient if you've got a link that you want to shorten. Uh, for instance, let's go ahead and load one of these. I'm going to use the bit.ly one here. Let's just download it, and I'll show you what it looks like. We come here, double-click on this, and you can see it's going to uh, add this up here. You have to log into your bit.ly account, so let me go ahead and do that. Okay, now that I've entered my information, I'm just going to say sign in now, and it's going to go ahead and log me in. And so now it says we're signed in. I can say OK, and you can see now it's added it right there. It kind of gives a little sound and all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this, and we're going to come back in here. And let's just go ahead and go to this uh, particular website here. So I'm going to do is just highlight it. You can see it comes up here. And you can see here's the little bit.ly icon for shortening the link. I can just hit that. And there it shortened it for me. And so now that's going to be my shortened link. And I can just then go ahead and copy that and add that, let's say, to a Twitter feed or something like that. So again, a really nice uh, application. Does a lot of things for you automatically with a whole bunch of different options. Look at that with calls and phone numbers and Skype. And uh, there's even some things for developers in there. And uh, just some, some really great, a really great application. A simple one. Uh, again, but one of those ones that once you start using it, you get so used to it, you don't know what you do without it. So that's all I have uh, for this week uh, on uh, another uh, one of my favorite Mac apps. Hopefully that uh, helps you get started with, uh, with uh, a great application for your own Mac. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.